Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a pumpkin spice makeup tutorial, which sounds really fun. It does, and I actually get a pumpkin spice latte there, but I drank all and I don't know where the little cup went. So yeah, I was going to get one for this video, but we're going to move on from that. And yeah, we're now at my favourite time of year. Yes, it's, it's that time. You know, I just, I love autumn. I love fall. I just love it. I love it all. I really do. And like, I really wanted to start like, uploading like full videos in like july while all you guys were enjoying summer i was like so excited for autumn <laughs> so so yeah but we i didn't want to upload them because i didn't i thought people would think that i'm psycho which i honestly probably am but like, it's fine so we're going to start off with the body shop vitamin e moisturizer and yeah this is really good i actually need a mirror first because i'm actually not okay so yeah i did film a few full videos like in like august but i never uploaded them should i upload them now i don't know i'll see but yeah <laughs> it is really fun filming the type of videos i do have some candles that as well just now you know i'm trying to get in that full mid but yeah so so i've really got to say about that as of me currently filming this there is like 82 days not 84 days something 80, either 82 or 83 or 84 days i can't remember till christmas which is like unbelievably crazy also as well halloween is like in like yeah 27 days quick maths for you are 27 days well from today that's how long um halloween is and yeah now this moisturiser as well also has SPF in it, so SPF 30, which is good because it's always important that you have SPF on, even if it's not sunny outside, even in like the winter and like autumn, like it's important just because, you know, you're really out in the sun all day, you know what I'm saying, like if you're out walking or whatever, so if you're not walking, what do you do outside, I don't know, like if you're outside, the sun's always like in your way, directly facing you, so it's always good to make sure you are protected from the sun that's some signs with sadie there yep now i've got a little technique going so i'm gonna use the revolution foundation stick and this is in the shade f4 so what i like to do i like to take my beauty blender and then what i do is i just like tap it on so then i'm not like properly putting a ton of foundation on my face i'm just putting like the right amount um see so yeah, i really like sorry no way <laughs> so yeah I really like doing this method just because I think it really does help um, rather than like apply it to the skin. I honestly can't believe it's October already. Like it's literally October. Like who would have thought I'd be sitting here in October making pumpkin spice makeup tutorials. <laughs> uh, you got to love a pumpkin spice latte. You really do. My skin isn't the best, it's not either. So this was a really needed makeover so we cannot forget about the neck because what if they look blended okay troops everything has to be nice and nice and blended okay so moving away from foundation we're actually going to use some concealer next and i think i used this in my last video but i'm kind of obsessed with it just now it's the elf hydrating camo concealer in the satin finish and this is a shade fair warm so i'm really loving this so i should use a little bit under my eye and then any just like any blemishes or anything that i want to cover i was going to do like a decorate with me for fall video but i already like decorated a while back so yeah but i might like do another kind of fall video soon um i do kind of have a little like night routine thing i'm filming just now as well so that should be up very soon too I just got concealer in my hair there. That's great. Okay, so let's blend this in. And you know what? I don't know what I would do with beauty blenders. Like, I really don't. Like, I'm starting to be so thankful for them because, like, see, when it comes to, like, using makeup brushes for, like, blending in, like, foundation and all that, it's just, it's not fun. Like, using a beauty blender is just so much easier and, like, saves so much time. And also, I think the results as well look so much better. I would definitely recommend this technique of, like, putting the concealer just a little bit there and there. It really does actually lift your face. I started trying it because I seen a TikTok do it. And I don't know, I've been really, like, been, like, hooked on this hack. 
because it really does work and I definitely have seen a difference. I am as well going to film like how I did my makeup in 2016 versus how I did my makeup in 2021 because I did do my makeup in 2016 and I feel like I've talked about this before I'm getting deja vu vibes but but yeah so this is the um BH Cosmetics one which is really nice and it definitely is a good powder if you are looking for a powder you can get like on Beauty Bay or anything like any sites like that I'm gonna take this other revolution brush as well and I'm gonna just kind of apply that to the face not adding too much, I just want enough for my face to be nice and matte. And I am so excited to do like matte makeup looks. I feel like for the last like few months I've been doing like dewy and like glowy makeup looks because obviously it's summer, but the autumn and winter period is upon us, so it's time to, you know, change it up a little bit. But I really want this look to be kind of nice and like warm and you know so i'm gonna add some bronzer and this is the natural collection one and it's like super bronzy so we're gonna add this to the cheek bones i'm not gonna add any contour today like i said this is just a really nice soft pumpkin spice latte moment i'm gonna take the kylie cosmetics highlighter or highlighter as well sorry and this is in the shade French Vanilla, so this also as well just gives me, you know, those really nice warm autumn vibes. Just gonna add a little bit onto the cheekbones, and this is very, like, very glowy. So we don't add too much, just a, just a little bit to add some glow. Alrighty, so moving on now, we're gonna be doing eyeshadow. So, like I said, we're going for this whole pumpkin spice tutorial today. So I'm going to grab some really nice full palettes and we're just going to dive in to this eye look. <laughs> now I just picked out a few kind of palettes that really get me in the full vibe. So we're going to kind of be mix and matching all these palettes today. So the first one is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette and look how beautiful this is. I know. And then the next one is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold one. I've not got to experiment with this as much as I want, so we're going to probably use that one today. And also the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. That's another one that's super full vibes. And last but not least is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly one. This is like aesthetically beautiful. <laughs> All the colours just give me this super fun fall vibe that we're going for. So I'm going to first dive into the chocolate gold palette by Too Faced and I'm going to take the shade Rolling in Dope because you know that's how we live these days guys and I love the mirror too you know what see the other like Too Faced palettes that I've got none of them have the big mirror like this because they're like the sweet peach palette and all that they all have like a smaller mirror so that's why I love using this palette for a mirror also do it smells so good like no joke like it literally tastes like chocolate. Not taste, <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Um, so that's great. And then next one I use the shade So Bougie, just using the same brush. And I'm gonna add this as a little starting shade, just to kick us off with this fall look today that we're going for. So I'm just gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna blend this kind of in the outer crease. Just to kind of give this look some smokiness, you know. I'm also going to dip into the shade Peanut Brittle from the same palette. And we're just going to kind of add this. We're just going to add this to the outer part of my eye. So I'm now just going to take the shade Extra Creamy from the same palette and just add this to the inner part of my eye. So I'm now just taking a dark brown shade and blending that in the lower lash line. So now I'm just using a deep kind of gold brown shade just to go over the lid to add a bit of shimmer. Following on I'm just using some mascara and this will just lengthen my lashes and you all know I love mascara so <laughs> you know how it is guys. Before lipstick, we're going to be mixing two different ones. So we're going to be um, mixing the Kiko Nude one and the Kylie Cosmetics Charm. 
they're both my favourite lipsticks of all time. So like them mixed together just gives a really nice colour. And thank you so bye. much for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and bye. <laughs>